I get high. If I read a book, I'll learn. So I read a book while smoking the blunt, got highly educated, and this is the part here where the game is disseminated. We gonna take the shit that I took in and we gonna spread that shit around in a community fashion. And we gonna do some questions. So we gonna start out with some brothers, we gonna end with some sisters. Divine masculine gonna open the way for divine feminine. I have no fucking clue what we talking about tonight, people. So if you have anything to <coughs> stir up, ask about, look into, investigate, stone to unturn, chess piece to move, checkers to flip, flying kings, kings on ice, motherfucking queens on ice. We're going to talk a little bit about um, whatever. But look, this is what I need y'all to understand. There are sports that is our ancient pastimes that we see and they got a different appeal than traditional sports so since i got nothing to talk about and it popped in my head we're gonna talk about a couple of these sports oh i got a caller already Nuwapu. so ice skating gymnastics trampolines um ballet um, ballet with the ribbon, skating with the ribbon. All of that, all of those are ancient Atlantean pastimes. There was a science to those sports. The science to gymnastics, a female who has aggression is normally taught gymnastics before they consider giving her a fight sport in order to capture her femininity um, out of the masculine part of herself so that she can rise higher in the feminine energy and then if she want to go into like mixed martial arts or martial arts there's she'll be trained after the gymnastics that's used as a uh what we call a shakti stabilizer that kali ma energy that's the stabilizer right so uh Anthony Gibbons, the Gibbons family used to be in charge of homeland charitable distribution of goods and services. What's up with you? Oh. I was just talking about your last name. You're talking to me, big bro, big chief? Yeah. Man, how y'all doing? All of y'all, man. Man, man. Good to see you. Where, where you chiming in from? What part of the land you on? Detroit. I'm in Gross Point Woods right now. You right up the street. I had to get my energy together. I had to breathe. I about to cry in front of all y'all. Get all y'all my tears of love. <laughs> hey, look, we, we, hey, look, we we embrace all of the love. We reject all the hate. We take the hate, turn that shit into compost, plant seeds of love, and grow the love right in the middle of their hate. Ain't that called terraforming? Yeah, that's, that, that's called alchemy. Alchemy, hey, yes, sir. When them motherfuckers was throwing rocks at us, and we was building an empire with them. That's that paleolithic. Paleolithic. I was looking at that. They say everything was made from uh rocks, wood, and, and sand. I don't know. There's another word, but I was looking at that. How they talk about that? You know, they did the, the ages and and what people was where and you know these settlers. That's what I was working on. You know, where the settlers come from? Who the heck is they? <laughs> Look, they they weren't settlers. No, ah, that, that, they were the killers. Were they, Settlers come in peace. Invaders come to take your shit. <clears throat> we had settlers. They came on Ellis Island. We couldn't get into the pale face institutions. So we said, fuck it. Hey, you're a you pale face. We want all your orphans, all your convicts. We want all your prostitutes. The worst motherfuckers to overrun these, these institutions with pale faces. Them and them motherfuckers we want y'all to see because when we overrun it, we want to be uh, what we call that, repugnant as they are. We want the worst motherfuckers y'all got to go in there and get the jewels and come out because they said that we ain't going to never figure this shit out. Right? So yeah. they, they want to go to war with God. Ah, right, yeah. Can you talk about Angela? Man, I, I know you. we get to go. You got my man running. Can you talk about ang Anglicize? Anglicize. This uh, is to make uh, Anglo-Saxon. 
the Anglican is the uh, Anglican Church. It's an Anglo-Saxon Church. Europeanized Roman Catholic Catholicism disguised as Protestantism. Apply uh, linguistic linguistics play a lot in that because that's I, right. I, I was looking up a little bit of the stuff, and that's where I was going with the ang anglicized and it was um, apply linguistics with uh, the, my man who um, they called him a problem solver, and you know how everything is for like imperial, which I looked up imperial son, but I looked it up and it was like uh, for employment, like every skill you got is just for employment for yeah, somebody you know, else. You you, you got to remember. If you're not in a position of power, you have to have something to offer to the power structure in order to make you useful enough for them to maintain and keep. Maintain and keep, earn your keep. Paying, right. So the people with the highest paying jobs don't got the highest paying jobs so they're better than nobody. It's just that they got the job the system need the most. They need that to uphold a system, right? They don't pay teachers and the, what what they supposed to, and we're not supposed to have police and policy enforcers. We're supposed to have the sharif, mm -hmm. right? And the sharif, the sharif is supposed to be well compensated by the community for keeping the peace. They job is like not to go throw you in a cage, but the modern police job is to take you off the street, put you in slavery, in a cage, right? The old Sharif would say, okay, um, the, he went over there, he did something to the people, threw a rock through their window. The old Sharif would say, okay. That's um, right. Got this. Hey, Jeez. sweetie, how you doing? Good. You look like- Hey, I want to hit the flow for you. She got a riff here. Talk to that's Rob A. Chief Funny Talk to you. Tell us hi. Hi. He love rap. He rap too. Hi. How you doing? Good. Well, what's your name? Zoe. Zoe? You know, I got a, a a little girl on Instagram named Zoe that dance, and she do magic for um, a grown-up friend because the grown-ups is not good at magic as the kids. So the <laughs> Zoe dance magic for um, another one of my friends because she an adult, so she had to do the dance magic through the, through the babies. Ain't that cool? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you that's be black girl school? magic working. They be working they black girl magic. You know, you man, come on, we were just out there looking at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be back? You good? I want to be back. Go ahead, don't you got it? <laughs> black girl magic. <laughs> <laughs> So since you beatbox for me, put it back on there. Since you beatbox, beatbox for me, <clears throat> I'm going to give you one verse of a rap song. It's called Searching for My Soul, okay? You want to hear it? Huh? You want to yeah. hear it? Remember second grade, catch a kiss after school, trading bag lunch, cafeteria, your food. Your mom's so cool, she used to drive me home. We stayed in touch all summer playing tag on the phone. Do you recall how innocent we were back then? Little boy and girl, still the best of friends. No ends in sight to all the fun we share. Like my fight with the bully because he had me scared. Who did to touch you when I was around? If you start to cry, so I was the first to cry. Hold you down always like I'm big brother. Wish the times we share could last forever. No wonder Pops accused us of being in love. It was the fourth grade before we really learned to trust. Yes. We, mind, we knew we had to last. When you think about it, Zoe, you got a hell of a pass. <laughs> You want to go or like no? That. You like that? I like it. I thought she was about to jump in there, man. You know, I'm telling you, she got to jump in there with us when we flow. Zoe gave me the thumbs up, boy. Shit, they can't tell me nothing. They can't hit me in the ass with a shiny red apple. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was happy to be on there, but I I, I had to let her talk to you because you always, you, you got the kids. And, you know, I be, we flow and all kind of stuff. Uh, we were just out there with the moon making the video with the little thing that was shooting across. Hey, we're gonna send it on YouTube. Okay, excuse me. But yeah, man, so I appreciate you. all of that. Hey, and you told you told us everything where we was from and who we from. You told us all of that, and and then you look it up, and it's right there. Oh. All of that, all of the names, man. Can Gaelic. I, I look the Gaelic. I don't want to cuss it because I'll, I'll be in positive. Can I show you something cool? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing no socks. This this is. 
like impossible to for no people that is not wearing soft shoes or slippers. It. I can do the <laughs> <laughs> I got some queens, so you know I'm working on you know my that stuff, and then you know just kicking oh, in with them, but. Oh. And you gave I us all the keys, my one big brother. Thing I can show okay, him. okay, yeah. Right. Hey, hey, uh, say hey, uh, say hey, uh. Hi. Which Hi. One, what's your name? What's your name? That's Harmony. That's big right. Mama. She's the bully. Yeah. <laughs> so don't you gonna be tell you why it's not good to be the bully? Yes. Because if you be the bully, yes, then yes. If you be the bully, then all of the nice people that don't want to be the bully go. Mm -hmm. They gonna yeah. get together and bully you, <laughs> cause it's only one of you. Yeah. So hey, you know she only two, but anyway, go. I, yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone. Hey, <laughs> she, hey, she put she she saying okay right on. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want me. Say bye. Bye, girl. Bye, bye. I guess I can't bye, stop uncle. it. Bye, uncle. Bye, uncle. <laughs> uh oh, she's break dancing, goddammit. What? Oh, no, she got the moves. My bad. Yes, yeah, she do. Hey, you know the irony is? <coughs> I would drink. <coughs> Get that throat. Yes, sir. <coughs> Let me drink this. And your business, sir. <coughs> she look cranny. Hey, you still you would take you you say you wouldn't get in that ice for us. You you would have did that shit. <laughs> I don't know about that one, dog. This is my toy. You've been mad as hell, but you'd have did it. <laughs> I probably would have. I probably would have, but I don't think my heart did it. Yes, sir. Know, but go ahead. We know we know about the the big swall yeah, trick that they used to go around and scrap. We know about that too, but we don't know about the kind, compassionate hearted man. Who would give his last to see one of his brothers come up? That shirt off the back. But that, and then we, I don't know what we were talking about before, but like I was listening to uh, Dr. Sirius B um, the other day, and it's like, I, I kind of, we used to ask family, you know, and, you know, everybody will watch out for everybody. And that, I don't want to say it was lost, but because you got, like, what, what all y'all have told me is that everybody held a part of some, you know, even with the last names, you know. So a Givens was, the motherfucker who, um, who, who, you know what I'm saying, who, who distributed out. Uh, you got the warriors. You got, you got all of that stuff. So it wasn't it, gone it, anywhere. We, 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 our last names is either <clears throat> one of our totems, about our land, or about what I do for the family. Our, la our surnames, as they call them, always reflect either the tribe, <clears throat> the totem animal, the family profession. Or in some cases, like Johnson. The yeah, Johnson. John, yeah, Johnson. Right. So, I feel like I'm a bear because like sometimes the full moon. Get inside of you. You gonna take with sure, okay? <laughs> yeah. So, so when you go to the etymology of John, John, it's your nine. It's the light breaker. And John mm -hmm. was the teacher. Mm -hmm. Right? So, the, that is the one who became as good as his father. But they uh -huh. had to identify by emphasizing that he was the son and not the, the father. Son. So they pa say that name. Pa pa uh -huh. name. Yeah. Right. So, our names verify, diversify. Then sometimes you have to look at a translated name. Right? Because sometimes they give us an English name, with, but the meaning by implication comes from the Arabic. Or the Hebrew, right? Okay. What's the uh, what's the opposite of pa patronymic? I, I don't mean to cut you off. I just got what, many what, questions. The opposite of patronymic name. No, pa patron. When they uh, start coming up with the uh, son of the father, is, did they ever used to use like the uh, son of the mother as a uh, basis? Okay, so um, when you go back and they say that the Anunnaki was the first to bring kingship to man on earth. That's when the father line lineage <clears throat> became rulership. Prehistory. That's what I'm saying. You got to pay attention to this. It's rulership of the men. It's the rulership, the kingship is the father 
that's in charge of keeping all of the fathers doing their job. Right? So <clears throat> when you come and talk about a king, you're talking about this. So if you look at it like humans and say wolves, wolves are pack animals. Humans are pack animals. Wolves naturally pick their own alpha from among the ones that's available. Humans naturally cater to the alpha in the room, no matter how many people in there. In a room full of celebrities, all of the celebrities is going to be paying homage to the one that is the alpha of the celebrities. The naturally selected by the uh, most love is most respected most is the standard that you can use. Whereas the wolf you, I, bitch, I bet I beat your ass. I will. <laughs> we use most love, most respected. The, the animals use might is right. We use what about, most love, but, most respected because we needed to not be as savage as animals. But it's also like um, the ones who, who who give the most and who they are. Like, yeah, we yeah. we you can respect the motherfucker who will kill you, but the person you gonna always take care of is that old lady who got everybody back. Mm -hmm. But now, the patriarchs that came over here has turned us against that old lady. They usurped our, our, our way of life because they said we was insects. Grandma said, gave us a dollar insects, every day. Right. Only insects would, would scramble around that old lady like that. Hive man. Right. <laughs> and they couldn't understand that when she was present and she spoke, no matter, me and you could be in the middle of a fist fight, the big mama say, y'all cut that out. Cut that out, bullshit out of my front yard. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> soon as big mama leave. Nigga, I'm going to get you soon as big mama leave. But right now, let's go in here and wash these dishes before she get us. Soon as Debo going, I'm talking again. <laughs> Look, me and, you, me, me and you walking this motherfucker looking like uh, uh, Big Tookie and uh, Jeff Ford, we knock it. Boom, crack, crack, crack. Big mama come out there. Hey, I need you boys to stop that and come in here and wash these dishes. Yes, ma'am. Respect. Respect. The, the dishes neat as hell. Look, the dishes all neat, everything wiped off. Mm -hmm. All the time, man, you talking about just wait till Big Mom ain't around, nigga. I'm going to get you. Elbows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We be all in the kitchen bumping into each other. Man, I ain't moving. You move. You ain't going to stop washing them dishes because Big Mama want them done. I did the pot. You do the dishes. <laughs> Man, I, I just appreciate being able to talk. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm not trying, but I, I'm getting it together for like this. Uh, the the last name thing uh, that really touched me, and I wanted to know, and I didn't know where to go for a long time. And then I just started looking at it. It's it's right there. It's right on the internet. They they literally tell you, and you know they they tell you uh it. Ethnocultural. I didn't. I ain't buy uh, ethnic cultural. The word that word. I did buy eth ethno bot bot botany though. That's mm. that's a powerful word. Right, so look, this is why I, this is why my past lives are so memorable. When I think about things I love, when I started thinking about growing up in this lifetime with my brothers, my sisters, and how we interact with each other. It reminds me of being at Big Mama House all over again. So it gives me a past life regression on damn near a daily basis seeing my siblings. Right? So when Big Mama tell me to do something, everybody that I see is part of me accomplishing. Right? Because I want that. I want the sensation. I want the vibe. I want that feeling of my mama having dinner and cooking and telling us it's Shut up, sit your ass down and eat this food. We ain't got time for all that arguing over the table. Don't you see your grandmama sitting over there? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Right? <clears throat> that is an energy exchange that's different than what we have now because there's somebody at the family reunion that's going behind, pushing shit off the counter while mama's trying to cook. And then they blaming it on the kids in the house that know better and they would never do nothing like that. For sure. Right? So is, I want people to experience the feeling of being at Big Mama House with a big family function. Everybody got their own shit they believe in. They don't nobody give a fuck when you get to Big Mama House. We there to see Big Mama and to spend family time together. 
Some of the boys gonna go play basketball. All right, we used to jit. I used to, we used to argue in the basement and jit. I know you were part. Yeah. Look, we used to jit. We used to get down there and do a little jit move. When you get with them cousins today, remember that day we was jit. That old boy fell down and bumped Me. the wall. Man, Me. talk about reminiscing. So you creating your best life, right? Because you know the feeling of living your best life.